Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back at it with another tutorial. My last hair shading one went over all of the basics and steps on how to create your own hairs, but this video will be exclusively focused on bangs, aka the front part. If you need a refresher on the other parts, take a look at the video that will be linked down in the description or comments. Enjoy! Our very first style here today will be one that I actually use quite often in my own skins and that I just literally forgot to put in the last video. Here we go! So for this one, I know it's a little bit abnormal, but you will actually need five different shades. So getting whatever color you feel you want, maybe I'll do a brown to start off, um, just create five shades of whatever palette you'd like and make sure to not only move this inner square here, but also this outer circle here to get some hue shifting in as you get lighter or darker. All right, I have my five colors right here, a nice little ombre brownish look. And we're gonna start with the inner body layer. So you make, wanna make sure that this body layer here is orange or on whatever editor you're on, you're not on the outer layer, that'd be pretty bad. You're gonna take the color picker here and you're gonna select your darkest color, whatever that is. And we're just gonna outline the shape. It's pretty simple. On the left side of the head and the right side of the head, just draw these lines all the way down, only one pixel wide. And connect this area right here so that you have three pixels going all the way across. Next, we're going to do the eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I usually just do a little bit darker than whatever your darkest color is, something like that, like for me. You're going to put two pixels right here on the both the left and side, and also two diagonally up like this. On both of the eyebrows, we're just going to add two pixels on the very left, or I guess the very right for over here, and also the top one, so it should look like that. And then we're going to move on to the actual bangs, the thing that you're here for this video for. As usual, we can start with the darkest color, and we're just gonna add one pixel right here, right below that uh, eyebrow right here, eyelash right there. And then we're gonna move on to our next lightest color. For here, you're gonna add one pixel right on top of the eyebrow, and one right below on the left side, and also two right here. So you're kind of like connecting, filling in the dots right there. Then diagonally up and to the right of this eyebrow, you're gonna add one, and then you're gonna go diagonally Sorry, you're gonna go straight up from this eyebrow over here, but skip one. So you're gonna like, should look like this right here. You should have like a little hole right here. And then we're also gonna do this right there. Moving on to our next lightest color. We're gonna be kind of creating a circular pattern here. We're gonna be going from the outside to the inside. So that means that we are going to be lining this um, darker color like this, just like do the same thing, but to the left. And then we're going to add one more pixel right here and we're going to come down and around. So we're kind of creating like a circle. And also we're going to add one right here. Then you can take your next lightest color, fill in everything that's left. And finally add a highlight with your very lightest color, just that pixel right there. And the end, those are your bangs. But make sure that when you complete the sides, you wrap everything around, meaning that these things on the outer layer, you're gonna take these exact colors and wrap them around to the side of the head. Same thing over here. And don't forget this, I will reiterate this on all of the models, um, but you always wanna do this, not just with hair either, with everything. If you wanna get extra fancy, this is kind of like an extra step that you don't have to do. Maybe sometimes I do it if it looks good. You can do like a little bit of outlining on the body layer. So you can add a little bit of shadow from where the bangs connect to the head. And what I mean by that is just like no specific pattern, just like eyeballing it and like doing something like this so that you see like right uh, where the bangs hit that, um, the body layer, you're having it a little bit darker. So maybe I do something like that and maybe that creates a little bit of a nice shadow effect, but that's totally optional. I'd like to take a minute to introduce today's sponsor, Babbel. First off, if you don't know what Babbel is, it's a language learning app that teaches not only how to speak, but also read and listen in a hugely broad selection of languages. One of my favorite things about Babbel is that it doesn't just teach you like useless vocab and things you'll never need, but it focuses on actual conversations that you'd use in real life situations. Plus, there are about a million other ways to learn through Babbel apart from their lessons, which are created by native speakers and experts, like through games, podcasts, videos, and Babbel Live, which are classes that are streamed directly to you. Even if you already know some of the language, like myself, who's taken Spanish since kindergarten, there are options for all levels of learners. It's awesome for diving into something completely new or getting mastery in a language that you might already be familiar with. 
Finally, the entire experience is customizable to you. Babbel does an incredible job of adapting to your needs to help you succeed with your goals, which, by the way, 75% of users achieve. By using leading AI technology and algorithms, Babbel is here to help you become proficient in a language, culture, and history with just 10 minutes a day, or whatever amount of time you want to dedicate. Start having conversations in as few as three weeks with Babbel today. To download the app, just click the link below, which will get you 60% off. There's no reason to not start learning today. Thank you. For this next one, we're as usual only gonna need four colors. So pick whichever uh, colors fit your needs. As usual, as we're going along at any point in this process, feel free to change the colors out like if they don't look right when you're actually putting them on the skin, which happens to me all the time. Please change them up a little bit. No harm, no foul, totally respectable. Anyways, we're gonna do the same body layer pattern as we did for the last one. So just on each side of the head, we're gonna do lines like this and cover one, two, three rows down like that. With the same darkest color, we're gonna count two up from the bottom and draw two pixels just like this. And we're gonna skip one and then go towards the inside. So it should look like this so far, all with the darkest color. Then you can take your next lightest color and we will continue on. Right below these two things on the side, you can add that right there. And also right above, we're kind of lining it out like that. And directly on top for two pixels of the middle ones, just like this. Then you can take your next lightest color and directly down towards the middle, diagonally, you can add two pixels right here at the bottom. And then we're gonna create more circular patterns again, just filling everything in. So you can do four pixels just like that on either side. And to finish it off, of course, with your lightest color, add them right here. And these are your beautiful bangs for this skin. Again, make sure you get the sides. See, they're still here from last time. Get the sides. I will say this every time. Get them or else it'll look really weird. And same thing if you wanna be fancy, just like with the last one, totally optional though. Um, if you didn't watch the last part, you can just add a little bit of shadowing behind the bangs on the body layer, specifically here. Very important body layer. Uh, wherever you see fit. Maybe I would do a pattern like this, although I don't really have like a set, uh, set thing going on here. Maybe something like that. And we'll see how that looks. It just adds a little bit of shadowing. Totally optional though. And don't make it too dark either. That, that might be a little bit too dark. moving on to our male ones. So for this one, you're gonna need four colors. Once again, pick whatever colors you fancy. Just make sure you're moving the outer wheel as well as the inner box to get some hue shifting action going on there. Once you have your four colors, you can take your darkest one and on the body layer, we're gonna do the outline again. So it's the same exact thing as the female ones actually for this one. So you're gonna draw two lines all the way down on the head and also connect them across with three horizontal lines of pixels just like that. Then we can add the eyebrows as usual. Make sure you just get a little bit darker color than whichever your darkest one is. Maybe something like that, maybe something like that, whatever looks good for you. And we're just gonna actually put two of them right here. So we're gonna add one right here so in one right here so like count one pixel like erased below and then towards the middle just like this and we could do the same thing just copy it onto the outer layer as well next you can take your darkest color and again on the outer layer we're going to start making the bangs all the way to the left of this left little eyebrush uh, <laughs> eyelash right here eyebrow i combined the two you can add one pixel just like that and directly on top to the left and to the right and down diagonally one, you can add four pixels like that. Then we can pick our next lightest color and we're gonna move on. On the left side over here, let's look over here for a second. We can add two pixels going diagonally up from this pixel right here. And moving to the right, we can do the same thing, but right here and also add one right here. Then we're gonna take our next lightest color and over here, we're going to add a pixel right here. Make sure that this one is still blank. We're going to save that for the lighter color. And we're going to add two right here and right here. Then we're going to complete things off with our lightest color. And you guessed it, right here. And also we're going to add it right here. 
Oops, I lied earlier. I wasn't thinking right. Super easy fix. You're actually just gonna delete these two bottom pixels right here. And there we go, that looks a lot better. For this one, same as the other ones, you can take a color, this is totally optional, that's a little bit darker than your darkest color, lighter than the eyebrows for sure, something like that. And on the body layer, you can do a little bit of outline to get like a nice shadow going on. Once again, this is totally optional, and if you don't understand and you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> and if you weren't watching before, please do the wrap around. Wrap around all of the outer layer to the right side and to the left side over here um of your being so it'll look more realistic don't just like let it cut off that would be pretty weird to end things off we are going to do one last male hair and for this one you're gonna need five colors again i think i'm gonna end things off with a little fun creative color maybe like a blue or a purple i think that'd be pretty fun Once you have your five colors, as usual, you can take the darkest color and we're going to be doing some outlining again of the head. For this one, we can actually start with these three lines up here and we're going to actually go down but miss these two pixels right here. So one less than the last one. Then we can get our eyebrow uh, material. Make sure you're getting darker than your darkest color, a good considerable amount. And towards the middle, we're going to add two right here and also the same thing on the outer layer, just like that. Then you can take your darkest color and we're going to start with the bangs. This will be symmetrical so far on each side, so do the same thing on each side. Right above and also right to the right, like this, of the eyebrows. Just little L's, I guess. <laughs> and then we can take our next lightest color and directly on top of these, so you're going to create like a little U and also directly on top of uh, like this brow line right here. Then we are going to take our next lightest color and directly on top of this brow line, you can add one more. And also on the left one, we can go towards the center right here. And on the right one, don't do that. But we are for both of them gonna add two pixels right here. Then we can take our next lightest color. And for both of them, we can add two pixels right here. And for this left one, we can add one right up there. Then finally, finishing things off with our lightest color for both of them, we can add them right up here. That's that, looking great. Remember, remember, remember to fold around. I wonder how many times I've said that this video. Make sure you're getting those outer layer bangs folded around to the other side. I kind of really like this color. I might make this into a skin. What do you guys think? Once again, if you want to be fancy, you can do your thing and you can take uh, a slightly darker color than your darkest color already. You can go onto your inner layer, um, inner layer, and we can make a little bit of a shadow, just like around the bangs where the bangs are. See, so we're creating a little bit of shadow um, on the outer layer, just like this. But totally optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to or you are confused. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and also that you learned something new. Once again, please check out the Babbel links in the description, and also my commissions, as always, are open. Check out either my Ko-Fi link or contact me on Discord with my tag below.